nya 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 it's the cat mario show meow welcome back to the cat mario show the show where we bring you info about all the latest games let's get started super smash brothers secrets this time we'll be taking a closer look at peach finally now you'll see some real moves you might not realize, but Peach is actually an expert at close-range combat. I wouldn't want to get hit by a slap like that. All her moves are as powerful as they are graceful. Well then, let's take a look at them. This is Peach's up special move, Peach Parasol. Not only can she hit enemies while flying upwards, the open parasol helps her glide elegantly back down to the ground. Just what you'd expect from a princess. Even with a normal jump, she can float like this. Simply keep holding down the jump button. Next is her standard special move, Toad. Toad will counter-attack if someone tries to attack Peach. Can you see what's coming from him? Spores! Toad will even counter an attack coming from behind. This makes it especially useful if you have enemies all around you. But don't worry, Toad likes to join the battle and help Peach. <laughs> Peach's down special move is Vegetable. This move is unusual because its strength depends on the vegetable that Peach pulls out of the ground. The one with this face is the most powerful. Sometimes she will even pull out a the bomb or a Mr. Saturn. Don't ask what they were doing buried there. Her forward smash attack also uses different weapons with different strengths, which even send her enemies flying off at different angles. The weapons always appear in the same order, so try to remember it. The golf club has the best range, and the frying pan is the most powerful. But I wouldn't want to get hit by any of them. Last but not least, this is Peach's final smash, Peach Blossom. It makes nearby enemies fall asleep, and even makes some peaches appear, which will restore your health. They must all be charmed by her beautiful dance. <sighs> This is the perfect time to make use of the powerful frying pan smash attack. Just watch this. Nice. I like to have some fruit after a workout too. And me. Anyway, that's it for this section. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yes, a ten combo. What are you playing today, Cat Mario? I'm playing Puzzle and Dragon Z and Puzzle and Dragons Super Mario Brothers Edition. This one's actually two games in one. And we're going to tell you all about it. It's a puzzle RPG where you match groups of three or more orbs to attack your enemies. And Puzzle and Dragons Super Mario Brothers Edition is set in the Mushroom Kingdom. You'll need to form a team with Mario or Luigi as the leader. Choose other allies to fill up the rest of your team, and then off you go! These are the orbs. Line up three or more of the same kind and build up a combo. Yay! That was a nice combo! Look! A super orb appeared! Exactly. If you can clear this super orb from the screen... You'll do a massive attack! and deal huge damage to your foes. There are lots of different things you'll stumble across in the courses. Sometimes you'll come across question mark blocks, or maybe even find different routes to take. Mario games are all about pipes, so let's take that one. At the end of each course, there's a boss. They're really strong, so you'll have to make sure your team is ready to face them. Before you face a boss, make sure you get your team ready. They'll need to be very strong. When you defeat enemies, you and your allies get experience points which help you level up. 
And sometimes you might even make friends with one of your foes. But don't worry if that sounds like a lot of hard work. There's a quicker way to make your team stronger. That's right. If you head to our Toad House, you can turn your allies' powers into experience points and power up. Or use transformation items to transform your allies. You can turn Goombas into stacks of Goombas and more. As you progress through the story, you'll be able to use different powered-up versions of Mario and Luigi. Unfortunately, you don't get to play as Peach, though. True, true. Unfortunately, Bowser kidnapped Peach again, so she doesn't get to be part of the team. But it's up to you to save her. That's right. Battle your way across different worlds and defeat Bowser and his minions to save Peach. Better hurry up or she'll save herself. Do you like watching anime, Cat Peach? Do I ever? Of course I do. Who doesn't? But did you know you can watch some great anime shows for free on your Nintendo 3DS or 2DS? Where do you think I've been watching them, silly? Silly me. In Nintendo eShop, there's a free application you can download if you have a Nintendo Network ID called Nintendo Anime Channel. If you choose to download it, you can watch some particularly cool shows. I've got a soft spot for Kirby's Adventures in Dreamland. How about you? I'm loving Inazuma 11 Series 1. It's exciting to follow the Ryman High team as they try to win the Football Frontier Tournament. And, of course... <laughs> Who could forget? Pokemon! Pokemon! You can watch Pokemon Advanced on the Nintendo Anime Channel and follow Ash, Pikachu and friends, explore the whole region, meeting new Pokemon along the way. Nintendo Anime Channel is updated regularly, so check back and you're likely to see something new. Oh, but remember, you can only watch cartoons on the Nintendo Anime Channel if you are connected to the internet. And always make sure you ask an adult to help you to set things like this up. Once you're all set up, there are loads of episodes to watch. I feel like a kid again. Me too, and there's nothing wrong with that. Right, well, on to the next section. It's, it's super, super quiz, quiz time. time. Today's quiz is all about Lego City Undercover. The chase begins. In this action-adventure game, you step into the shoes of rookie cop Chase McCain as he solves missions in Lego City. Everything in Lego City, the cars, buildings and even the plants are all made of Lego. So, of course, you can take them apart. It's really fun! <laughs> but that's not all! You can even rearrange them to create something completely different like this! Now here's the question. <clears throat> What can you make with these Lego bricks? One, a set of stilts. Two, a rope. Three, a ladder. Four, a trampoline. The answer is four, a trampoline. He sure put that together quickly. If you get stuck during a mission, taking things apart and rebuilding them is one way to search for clues. If you want to solve everything, you'd best get searching. Chase is also a master of disguise. He can use all kinds of different disguises, and each disguise gives him special abilities. Make sure to pick the right one for the situation. It's just like your frog suit or tanuki suit. Exactly. When Chase disguises himself as an astronaut, he can use a jetpack to fly. Now, here comes the question. The astronaut disguise has another ability that's a bit different from the others. What do you think this ability lets Chase do? One, ride rockets. Two, float. Three, shoot down asteroids. Four, find aliens. The answer is four, find aliens. 
can find aliens where the scanner used to find hidden items. At first glance, this trap looks normal and nothing strange shows up on the scanner. But take another look in the astronaut disguise and... Any aliens you catch will be pulled away. Ciao! With seven different areas to explore, Lego City is huge. You'll want to use vehicles to get around. Hey, which way are you driving, Buster? There are lots of things you can ride to get around town. Now, for the question, which of these animals can you ride? One, horse. Two, cow. Three, pig. Four, turtle. The answer is three, pig. Who doesn't like to ride a pig? After all, that's what the disguises are there for. Use the farmer disguise and then... Woohoo! Piggy steed! <laughs> mm, but maybe it would be faster on foot. Try out all the different vehicles and explore Lego City. You can even drive something like this, too. That's all for today's quiz. Cat Peach, do you remember when we last looked at the Nintendo Kids Club website? Naturally, it was great fun. Shall we go take another look? Absolutely! Nintendo Kids Club has fun new things for you to see and do. Look who it is! This page shows you loads of things about Captain Toad and his adventures. There's even a new game you can play with him called Captain Toad's Dungeon Dash. It's a fun puzzle game where you have to make a path for Captain Toad. Can we? Can we do it? Nice! We did it! Oh, you can also colour in Captain Toad by going to the Create and Decorate section and clicking on this. Then you can get a nice picture for you to colour in. There are other games and activities to do too. Why not try them all? I already coloured this in myself. What a masterpiece. Oh, um, it's interesting, Cat Mario. Maybe you should go back and play a bit more Pokemon Art Academy again. Well, that's all we have time for today. We're looking forward to seeing you next time. But for now, bye! bye.